All right, guys, welcome back to the road to SSL in 3v3. Today's episode number 17, and we're going to be K-Mop today. It seems in the last episode, you guys misunderstood what I meant when I wanted a new name for K-Dop and the Vitality guys. So it's time to make K-Mop because all these recommendations weren't exactly what I was looking for. It seems like James on Bags had the right idea, though. He also has a pretty good idea for the next episode's name. But now let's quickly jump into the making the photo. All right, so we searched up K-Dop. We quickly find a photo here. I see this perfect one of K-Dop looking pretty buff there, actually. I uh, will grab that and drop it in Photoshop. Looking pretty handsome, not gonna lie. Let's grab the afro real quick and drop it in. All right, honestly, he's looking pretty good. It's pretty low effort with these ones, but I do like them. They're pretty funny, and we should drop the rest of the squad in here with him and see how it looks. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? <laughs> All right, there we have it. We got K-Mop, the final player of the Vitality group with an afro. I don't know why this became a thing, but I don't I don't hate it. Let's jump into the next episode here. We got Grand Champion 3 Division 3. In the last episode, I noticed that players were throwing the ball away quite a bit to the opponents. So I'm going to be focusing on this episode and talking about how to keep pressure, especially at a high level. Um, it's, it's not very clear how to do so. I think it's really important to know where to pass the ball to your teammates, where to place the ball in space. So you get better clears and more effective positions on the on the field to keep the pressure on the opponent's side. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes and the playlist. If you haven't seen the playlist, there's a 2v2 Road to SSL and 3v3 that's on my channel. Be sure to check them out and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're currently on the road to 2 million subscribers and it helps me out a ton. Now let's jump into the next episode. Hope you guys enjoy. We got the first game, we got Recite and Lunar Brawler. He's an SSL uh, Season 2. Let's go. We got a partied up Ligma. <laughs> Ligma, nice, dude. Oh, man. I'll let him get that boost. He really shouldn't steal uh, my boost off kickoff there. I'm going to miss, too. It's going to be a goal. Um, so that's a, that's an issue there. If you're going to cheat up, um, you can't just go and steal the boost in the back corner of the player who was off kickoff. Because as you can see, I wasn't able to jump up to that anyway. Even if I side flipped. Um, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't think I would have been able to get up as fast. I'd just say I have zero boost. Got lots of time here. I put it around one. I, I ended up uh, popping it around him. Might be a shot on target. Good save. Not the greatest though. Should be clear for my team. It's a good place, placement of the ball there off the clear because there's no one on the right side. So it gives us a chance down the field. Should be a shot opportunity. Nice play. Really really well done. So that, that all started from that clear. As I was talking about uh, at the beginning where I said I want to focus on how to keep pressure. The reason why that worked out so well is because of the placement of that ball to that back corner to the right. Um, no one's able to collect it quickly and bring it back down the field. Take one touch and stay with it. Over over two. Could be a shot here. Nice finish. So right there, I know that I have space once I catch the ball. I was a little bit... I was paying attention to the Ligma on the wall there, <laughs> which is going to be really... I'm going to call him Muff for now on. Um, I was watching him on the wall, and then I saw two players uh, sit on top of each other. And that's when I know that I can just sit with the the uh, the flip reset and use my position uh, to scare them off. Because they're not going to want to go on that. There's a guy on the, on the right, but I know that. So I'm just going to wait for the touch. Try to catch the ball on the wall. Kind of threw the ball away too much with that last touch. Teammate is doing exactly what I'm doing, which is not good. But I like that he stays with this. At this point, the meta is kind of like just do whatever uh, fills the space. So right here, Lunar should probably turn on that. Nice pinch, works out. Wasn't sure if he was going to turn on that ball since he was last. And that should be open for Lunar. So, well played. Good one to be ready for that. Big miss from the opponents, though, and we get another goal. This guy likes to quick chat. <laughs> nice little fake. I think the one uh, defender thought that that, uh, I think my other teammate, who is it? Uh, Recite was going to touch the ball. But, you know, sometimes that works out in your favor. Just big fakes. But so far, good pressure from our team to hold on to the ball in, in situations. I like the flip reset attempt here. Decent touch. I'll go early and make a touch first, then try to stay with it off the next one. Struggle for 50-50. Didn't make a good touch. I should have waited for the touch off of the opponent first before making the 50-50. Uh, the because like I said in the, in the previous episode too, I want to be um, I want to be the last person to touch the ball in that situation so it bounces off their car and back into me. Oh my. Should work out. So my teammates there. He's pretty far back, but they are all the defense is also really confused. And there's a finish. Nice. Honestly, that, that, that shouldn't have worked out as well as it did because I popped it up and I thought that my teammate would be going to be closer, but he was in the back corner. It's hard without communication, like I said, in the, in, in the past. Um, but it worked out. Both All three players on the, on the opponent's side were kind of confused and kind of just doing circles. And they weren't sure who was going to take over. 
So pretty good first game, pretty quick as well. We get a forfeit. We got 11 points. We're now into the 1800s, which is uh, which is huge. I don't know if it's gonna be a division up yet. It probably won't be. Nope. So I, I don't know what, what it is to get SSL. I think it's 1865. So we're still quite a bit of a ways away. It used to be 1815. So if it was, we would would have already been division four. Let's get into the next game, see how it goes. Hey, it's Beanbag. <laughs> What are the chances? I mean, actually, there are pretty good chances since we're at the higher level. I'm definitely feeling the effects of the uh, the queue times. It's getting a lot longer. We got Lunar Brawler again from the last game as well. I'm gonna probably pass this to left. Didn't really pass it that great. See how I passed it away from my team. Um, I like that my team was trying to get ready for it, but he noticed immediately that it wasn't a good spot for us. I'll pop this up if I can. Pop it up for my team. At least keep it close. Good try for my team. He wasn't quite ready for it. We get on the net here. Good shot. Um, I thought my teammate would be ready for that. He kind of... Uh, I'm going to look behind me to see what happened here. Okay, so he's kind of waiting too long. He could have went before. Um, he said, hi, mom. What is happening here? Yeah, so I, he kind of waited a little bit too long. I was hoping to pop this up uh, for my team. Got to watch for the bumps here. Go around him as well. Pop this up. It's a little bit too far for Brawler to do anything with. I don't like that he went up for that. I think that's a throwaway on, in, from, on my behalf. Um, so the fact that he's trying to go for it tells me that... He's going to just, you know, throw the ball away. Once again, Lunar Brawler kind of going for a weird touch. Got a little bit greedy there to make a pass too. Hopefully I can get some boost back here. Lunar's kind of all over the place this game. He was like definitely the one that like, oh gosh. He's definitely the one that was like getting all the goals scored. But this game he's seeming, seeming a little bit all over the place. I'll put this behind this guy and then maybe get a double off the corner. Teammate went again. This could have been a free goal for him if he waited. But he, instead, he just went for the, the ball. So I got to be careful of Lunar doing that in the future. I'm going to pop this up to the left. See if Beanbag can follow it. It's decent try. Good fakes. By fake, I mean miss into a misread from the opponents. Good 50-50 off the side. Try to pop that guy as well. He's going to get a bad touch. Hopefully, one of my teammates can push up. Get a demo as well. Just trying to cause pressure here. Nice touch. Go around him. I try to get a flick. I just hit the ball a little bit too heavy on that last touch. Let him throw the ball away first. Teammate just kind of confused. Not a great touch to throw it away like that, but he ends up making it work. He makes a touch. He's low boost. I knew, I knew he was low boost too. That's why I was going to take that ball from him, but then he kind of still wanted to go. Even though he could have left it for me. Pop it up over the one. Luck's going to go on this. I already know that. I'm just trying to bump him. Good touch. Lunar Brawler's last. If he goes here, he's going to put us under pressure. He's got it. Oh, what's he doing? Okay. <laughs> no, don't throw it away. Chef, Chef Wick is backwards, though, so I'm just going to try and bump him. Get the boost from him as well. Good. Pop it towards the net. Zara Kil Kilia is... Uh, oh, two players on my team are in the same position. So not great so far. It was a bit of an awkward position. I shouldn't have went in the corner there. Decent 50-50. Should get the boost now. Bit of confusion for my team. So I'm going to try and keep this close. Should be Beanbag's touch here. Not great. It's off the corner, but I hear Lunar right next to me. So hopefully he can fake him. Nice finish. Nice. Nice job. I was kind of worried about hitting that a little bit harder than I did. Because uh, basically my teammate was pretty close. So I wanted to make sure that that doesn't pop off high off the backboard. Or else it'll go over his head. So I aimed further down on the, off the curve. And, uh, is it you? <laughs> oh, no, he remembers me. Gotta say shush. Nice touch. Like that touch from B-Meg. Keep it close in the corner. Should be a pass middle here. Doesn't really work out. Nice pop. Oh, my. So go for the wall here off Beanbag's uh, position on the left side. Decent touch. Once again, Brawler just like, really aggressive into a, like, a really weird position. Um, he needs to be a little bit oh, aware of... Uh, the ball being cleared because he's he's kind of all over the place like you see he's like scattering yep <laughs> exactly he's kind of just doing circles and hoping bro i just don't even I, I don't trust this guy a little bit this game i'm not sure what's happening this guy just passed the middle for this uh the other team he's doing wide circles and kind of just trying to be fast but he's not doing anything with the speed um which is a very common thing and i, I i've seen it a lot good touch from the opponent Hopefully my, hopefully my teammate can get back for my team uh, for Beanbag. Like he's trying to make touches and he's, and he's making plays, but he's kind of just throwing the ball away. I guess it works out. I'm going to go for a 
And stay close, Lunar, man. <laughs> you gotta chill. All right, Lux can have a touch. There we go. Pop it up. I was hoping that beanbag would go for the middle instead of going for that touch. It's gonna be a shot. Oh my. That could have been a goal easily for for uh, for them. Pop it off the backboard. If they miss this, it's a good chance. So I just waited for that touch. Still gonna be up here off the two curves too. All right, a little awkward. I think that Lunar Lunar is like trying to ball chase, and you can see he's got a lot of points, but he's not really like being effective with his touches. So it's making uh, it awkward for Beanbag. Got my boost stolen mid from my teammates. I'm just gonna go back get some pads. Can't really be involved in this because if I do push up here, I, I am third man for quite a bit. To be a shot towards target, Lux probably gonna clear it to the side. L Lunar once again upfield. That could have been my boost steal there, but he's trying to like keep pressure, like it's one v one or something. In a situation where, uh, you know, I can I can be taking that boost after I make the play. Instead, if he just if he's just if he's just going for the boost steal and not anything else, he's he's taking two players out of the game because I've already pushed myself up the field. See, if Beanbag makes a touch. There we go. I don't want to flip there because I'm going to hit it off the crossbar if I do that or the backboard. I can just make sure that I get a nice solid touch. Nice little pass from uh, Beanbag there as well. Great position off that play. He could have went off the corner, but in that situation, no one was really ready off the backboard. There we go. <laughs> Hello, future me. He knows. Well, that was a good game overall. I think Beanbag played really solid. Um, Lunar was looking pretty good in the first game, but I think that, that game, he was kind of all over the place, like I said, uh, trying to pressure in a way that doesn't really give you effective pressure. Because he's trying to steal boosts in a situation where he hasn't done anything with the ball. You kind of want to place your, your first man as a challenger and then fly across. Like, you know, if they make a missed challenge, they can go grab the corner boost. But a second man trying to steal the corner boost is going to put you in a really tough situation because the third man can't really help support that second man who's not even on the ball. I think last game was a prime example of why uh, looking at points isn't really a good, a good way to judge how much you're doing. Sometimes it does, you know, correlate to good saves and stuff. But if someone just has a lot of ball touches... Like, like what Lunar's doing here, um, like kind of just chasing and not really providing much pressure. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to throw your team off for a loop here. I'm going to let my teammate get a 50-50 first. Wait for the next touch. Good 50-50 from Lunar. See if Snacks leaves the boost for me. He does, which is good. Keep it close to the touch. Wasn't great. I kind of threw the ball away, but hopefully my teammate can challenge. Decent 50-50. It was close. Good save from Snacks. Wait for gum, uh, Gumshoe's touch. Decent touch from uh, Lunar to get around me. Once again, he's kind of chasing the ball into a position where his teammate can't really follow it. So he kind of wasted his play. Oh, I like this double chance. Nice play. Really good 50-50. Or not 50-50. Really good challenge over the one player off the backboard into the, the double touch. I'm not going to go for this because I know that there could be a 50-50. Um, nice finish as well. A nice. There we go. Nice goal. Okay. Um, there's a reason why I don't go and push into that. Like It seems like he threw the ball away right here, which is, which is possibly the case. Uh, Lunar kind of missed the ball though. Um, in that situation, I don't want to be putting myself in the same position as Snacks, who's uh, also in the air. Good, good save. Should be able to stay with this. I'm gonna make one tap and then go for a 50 50 or a flip reset. And a good finish from Snacks. So we ended up missing uh, on the defense. I'm not sure who was under me there. I think it was Lunar. So Lunar turned on me and then didn't follow this touch right here. They kind of just left it. I think he could have turned and caught the ball really quickly because it was right behind him if he did a drift turn. But he ended up leaving it because uh, he thought his teammate would be immediately there. You got to be a little bit careful with that, especially on defense. Um, expecting people to be right on the ball. Uh, especially with the, in that situation, I think both of his teammates were still returning um, back to net. I'm going to try and tap this down a little bit. Wasn't great. Kind of popped it over uh, my teammate. I'm not going to go for that immediate, tur immediate turn there because my teammate could be in a better position. I like this pressure here. Good touch off the corner. I see both players challenging. See if he can touch it down. Good good fake. Um, he ended up trying to make a touch. He realized the touch would have been worse. Um, so he actually just left it. That's to be a quick forfeit, actually. Not not too bad. Uh, there's only two minutes of that gameplay. Uh, I guess we'll jump into one more game and see, uh, see where we end off at. We'll see if this game is also the division up. It might be. It might also not be. I have no idea what division four is now. Oh, nope. Still Division 3, so we're still quite a ways away. We'll jump into the next game. Hopefully, this will be the Division up if we win. All right, we got a uh, 1700 squad, actually. We got Ugly back on our team and Siphlin, who's a little bit lower level player, but the other team is also pretty low level uh, overall. The queues are getting really long, so we're getting into a wider range of players. See if we can get on the touch. Let's be able to make the touch over the one player. It's not going to be the greatest because it's going to be right to the opponent, but he kind of threw the ball away as well. 
So it works out. Q might make it clear. That's okay. It's a decent touch actually to try to follow it. The bump came through, so I'm gonna wait for this touch. Hop up the ceiling if I can. It might be just right straight towards target. I try to go for that flip so that it hits the ceiling into a position above the net. Try to make a shot. It wasn't the greatest position. I tried to read the guy's touch. He ended up missing. I could have maybe read that a little bit earlier. It's a good read from Stevio, but it doesn't really do anything. Except if my teammate does that. Now it's a little bit dangerous. Um, it wasn't a great touch from them. Uh, try to get the Kiwi's touch here. Good 50-50. Get around the one player. Bump the last guy off too. Then we can bump him off the backboard. Good try. Siphon's last here. Get a little bit careful. Go for the high touch. I'd rather I'd rather go for the high touch there because my teammate has a way better read on the play. Wait for the touch. They kind of threw the ball away. It's a good try. I think Ugly's pretty low because he would have followed that probably. Maybe he doesn't want to waste his boost. Hit that over Stevio if I can, so it's not a great pass. Got a demo on the last man. This could be dangerous. Good read from Ugly. This should be uh, my teammate's ball here. Hopefully move it forward. Pop it up over Kiwi. Kiwi's really awkward. There's two players. I'm pretty low boost though. This last defender. Oh, I thought he was going to land on it. I was going to say that defender might land on that ball. So I was a little bit careful with the 50-50. Evo ends up making a, a bad touch because it goes to my teammates. Good 50-50. Should be my teammates. Pretty far away though. Um, he didn't get the back corner. So I'm not really sure what he was doing back here. Maybe he was waiting for it. It just appeared. Oh, it's a great touch from uh, Stevio. Didn't expect that 50 50 from Ugly, but a good touch around. There's only one player, so it's a 1v1 chance. He makes a pass. Ends up. Uh, I don't know what Nevo was doing there. He had he had two options to cover, and he didn't he didn't cover either of them. He definitely could have covered either the pass or the shot. I think the more direct shot is pretty dangerous here, and Siphalin wasn't really making himself clear to make the pass because um, he didn't wrap around the ball enough. But Nevo kind of turned to the right at the last second and didn't really you know provide much pressure on the the uh, the aggressor on my team. Good demo here. One player. Kiwi's going to have the ball before me. I'm going to wait for him to pop the ball up. I hear my teammate up, so I'm just going to be wait waiting for that. Try to go for the. I try to go in the way of that touch, but I end up not touching it. Um, I should have just went for the ball, though, a little bit earlier. It was definitely on me. Pretty lucky spawn, not going to lie. See, my teammate should go for this. He's super slow. Take it to the corner. He should have been there like pretty early because I threw the ball away. I'm going to fake this for a second and then pop it over because the guy's not going to expect the slight change of pace. Clear to the corner, steal the boost. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I'm going to be the one stealing the boost there because I went for the, the challenge. We don't need the second man to be jumping in there uh, when I'm already going to be doing that to get out of the play. Go for the 50-50, so I force the ball. Pop it off the backboard and should be able to uh, finish it. I wasn't quite able to because I couldn't land. I didn't want to waste my boost until the the, sh the shot, but obviously I couldn't land. But that's going to be another win there. Pretty solid game to get 10 points. And that should be the division up. Let's see what happens Let's here. Let's go. Uh... And there it is. So we're in the final division before SSL. We could even make it in the next episode if we get uh, four wins, if, if there's a quick forfeit. But I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll probably actually just play the next one. This is going to be the second last episode then, as long as we don't lose a bunch of games the next one. We'll probably uh, play the next episode, uh, you know, uh, you know, win, like win until we get SSL. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. A lot of fun. Pretty good games. Hope you guys learned something about keeping pressure uh, and how to like, you know, place the ball and stuff. I didn't talk too much about ball placement, but more so about just like why we're making the decisions we are. Uh, and until next time, have a great day. We'll catch you guys in the next one.